welcome so today in this video we will do another cool python project our topic is how to add text on your images using python so this is a really really simple project we will use a library called pillow which is also known as PIL, which stands for Python Image Library. So in this article, I talk about how to, how to demonstrate this project. So if you keep reading, I will share the link below the video as soon as it's published and yeah let's keep going here is our table of contents first we will install pillow and then import pillow to our project to our jupyter notebook on the side and then we will choose an image i will show you which uh, website I use to find good quality images and then I will show you how to select a font and then we will render the text on the image and finally we will export the results so that's all for this project and video demonstration will be this video that I'm creating right now. So let's let's keep moving. Import Pillow library. So since I already installed Pillow, if you haven't already, go ahead and install it. And then we will move to the next step where we will import those functions. So I will go ahead and run this line perfect and then let's keep going we will choose an image so i already added the link to here it's a website called unsplash so it's a stock photo website and here is the picture that i will be using for this project i thought a little fall uh, nature picture will be nice so let's go ahead and let's import the picture to our project so that's how we do it so let me show you my directory file real quick so here is my Jupyter notebook and here is the picture that we are using so it's under inside the same folder so let's keep moving step three perfect so in this step we will choose a font as you can see i chose a font called playfair which can be found on the website called Google Fonts. So this is also another great resource that I would like to share with you. So if you go ahead and check this Google Fonts, you will find a lot of font styles that you might choose from. So. I chose a font called Playfair. So here is the TF, uh, TTF file format, which stands for True Type Font. So I created a new folder and then just added the font inside that folder. So here is how to add our font. I'll just paste that. I 
named my variable title font and we are using the image font function true type is our method and we are calling the font file over here and then 200 is our font size yeah that's the font size I'll go ahead and run this line perfect <clears throat> now we are in step number four first since we are talking about rendering the text first thing we will define our text that's it and then secondly we will convert our image into an editable format so this image draw function helps us to convert this image file let's go ahead and run this line all right and thirdly we will render the texts on the image that's how we do it so we add the image over here and then we use the text method we have four parameters in this as you can see one two three and four so what are these i talk about them over here so first one is the starting coordinates and in pillow library uh, we are using cartesian pixel coordinate system which means the left top let me show you using an image over here let me copy this let's paste there we go so in cartesian pixel coordinate the zero zero coordinate is over here and as you go right your number will increase so this is how much pixel your uh, image is so it goes all the way to here and from here it goes like zero one two three four five and it goes all the way down to image uh, pixel size so 15 to 15 is somewhere over here so this is gonna be the starting point for our text and the second parameter is the title text which is this one and then the color of the text so for choosing a color i recommend using a color picker so if you google color picker you will see a, a like web application that's created by google so you can go ahead and find the color that you want to choose and then here you can find the rgb values of the color i also have another project on creating a color uh, color recognizer application so i can just add the article over here so if you would like you can check that too so after choosing our color we copy the rgb values and go back to our code and we just paste it over here and finally the fourth parameter is the font which we already defined over here so we're just adding that just passing that into the function so let's run this line all right what's next next and the final step is exporting our result so this is our uh, this is our how to say the code that we will uh, export so let's go ahead copy that paste 
and then let's just run the results. And let's check our image. Here we go. The beauty of nature. Isn't that really cool? You can also change the color as I mentioned. Uh, let me show you real quick. Let's say Let's choose this color. Copy the RGB values and then we'll just paste them inside the parentheses. Run this line again and let's export this as result number two. Let's go back to our folder and here we go. This is the second uh, result that we just exported. So yeah, that was all for this project. As I mentioned, it was a uh, simple Python project that I wanted to share with you. And I will add the link to article below the video as soon as it's published. And I will add a contact link. If you have any questions while implementing the program, feel free to reach me. I will be more than happy to help you on your project. And that's all for this video. Thank you all. Keep, uh, keep in touch and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and happy programming.